Imagine, if you will, you buy a console, which is always online, and to play your games, you need to have access, and your console service networks is down. Horror, fright, you only had a little bit of time. You didn't have enough time to play all day. The time that you had allotted for your video game, your hobby, has now been usurped by outage. Shame, travesty, welcome to the life of a Sony player, a pony if you will. All right, everybody, welcome back to another x Gaming video, x here, and yes, today we got your next dose of the Salty Batch files, of course, and as you just seen as the entrance here, they love to flip-flop so much. It's, it's funny that they're on a high, they're on a low, high, low, there's never in the middle, there's no consistency, but there's more of that to come. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, so like I was saying, what we're going to do is get straight to the salt. As usual here, we have a great, great example here. We're just going to pull this right up from Insider Gaming. They recently were talking about, right, the reports of PlayStation Network going down. Millions of gamers seethe as PSN goes offline. And then, of course, Carlos Salas. This is the additional piece to this here, as you can see. This is a perfect opportunity for Xbox to strike back and get in the good graces of gamers. If I'm them, I give everyone Game Pass free for a year right now. That would be a mic drop moment. Well, Carlos, let's let's break this down super quick. Let's not drag this out, but let's break this down. Um, as we all know, if you're in the know, if you don't know, let me let you know, there's been a great program under Microsoft Rewards. A lot of fans and non-fans alike we're able to get Game Pass for free, so to speak, with the Microsoft Rewards. It was super simple to do, surveys, little things you had to do. Wasn't very difficult. They were continually getting monthly subscriptions to Game Pass, and it really wasn't doing anything. Nothing was moving the needle, so much so that Microsoft Rewards has even stopped doing that and being a thing. But yes, let's give everybody Game Pass for free because that's the issue, is money. Oh my. It's one of the lower subscription type of fees in regards to gaming out there, but we're still having a problem moving that needle, are we not? So, <laughs> the fact that you just kind of want to rub the salt uh, in the dirt, in the wound, right? Uh, that's really odd. It's just a super odd request. It's, it's a good thing, again, that somebody like yourself is not in charge of a high corporation because, wow, it would go under quicker than you would think. Uh, but on top of that, Let's take a moment here. Let's think about that. Oh, that's right. Not even 48 hours later, Xbox also went down for their Xbox Live services. So... Oh. Man, that karma works really quick, doesn't it? But you love to see it, folks. Again, the highs and lows come so quick. It's astronomical. You love it. I love it. I hope you all do too. But let's keep going here because we are not done. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of Xbox, obviously, we're talking about Starfield, right? Their latest DLC hit. And as you can see here, Mr. Matty plays. I'll give him respect. At least he's being honest, unlike I believe it was Xbox era is what the ones that came out and gave this a nine. Uh, but everybody else, mostly across the board, gave it pretty middling reviews here. But as you can see up here, I'm not gonna read everything from it to make it long-winded. Winded. So feel free to pause this for a moment, read through it. But I do wanna state the fact that he's being honest at least, right? But, you know, other people didn't think so and they still think this is game of the generation. In fact, they think it's also DLC of the generation. Now, Hellblade 2 is a game of the generation. A game of the generation. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. But oh boy, it doesn't end there, right? We have Post up here, back with his tinfoil flat. The flat earther himself is back, putting his analysis on things. And of course, he states why they hate Xbox so much. It couldn't be more clear. It's sad to say that it won't change until they are able to play it on PlayStation. They've been hating from the jump. And then, of course... <laughs> He's comparing it to the now not even available or playable Concord. 
um, showing that it's a meta score of 60 as opposed to the Concord review of 62, which again, I've talked to this at ad nauseum, right? Concord, I thought was a great game overall, minus the character designs, not gonna go into that right now. I don't think it deserved anywhere near 62 um, at all, and I stand by that still to this day. Um, I will always be honest and factual with you guys, but that being said, I do find it hilarious that this game of the generation, this top tier hyped up game, comes out with the next DLC that's supposed to change and add and do so much, and comes out with a 60 across the board, even with a couple of uh, shilling websites like Pure Xbox, right? Or Xbox Pure Era, whatever it's called. But <laughs> regardless, it's there. Even the shilling sites ultimately can't push it past a 60. And as the time of this recording, it actually got as low as 52. I think it bumped up to a 54 again. So it's really not doing good. Uh, really concerning. So again, the modders are, I'm sure, working in overtime for the modders that are working on this game. Hats off to them, but once again, we're still not done. It's been quite a few videos, folks, but do we remember um, Curator, right? Xbox Curator, he rebranded himself to be RTX Curator because he's an Xbox refugee that went over to the PC ecosystem because that's just where everything's gonna be better, of course, but they can't help grasp those Xbox roots. And as you can see here, the first example, this is back August 9th, of course, coping, hyping, overhyping, whatever you want to call it. Starfield gonna save 2024, hashtag Starfield, hashtag Xbox. Well, not too long later, folks. Let's see what he had to say. Now, Curator, once again, it's time for Bethesda to cut the losses with Starfield. I love Starfield, but I'm not everyone. So move on to the Elder Scrolls 6 fully and target 2030 for the best possible game you can make. Get original developers back to bring the Elder Scrolls into next generation on next gen Xbox, PC, and PS6. <laughs> it's, you see how much it shifts? Like, you, you can't grasp onto the shills, right? You just can't. And I know we got some in the comment section. I'm a shill because I prefer PlayStation, even though I call it down the middle. If they mess up, they mess up. I will call that out. But the segments are salty batch files. Yes, the subject matter is Xbox. Yes, the subject matter is all the salt, the copium, the misinformation. That's why we're here. So you can call me a shill all you want, but these are the true, true shills right here, right? Real, real simple to see, but you love the up and down. That is the theme. It seems a day. I don't try to make these theme based, by the way, but they happen to just kind of correlate and there's a theme to each video anymore. Um, we'll see if that continues the trend, but regardless, it is what it is. But enough of the Starfield chatter. We know it just didn't land that super well, but once again, Mr. Cold Eastwood just can't keep that foot out of the mouth. Now he has groundbreaking news, mind you. Let's take a look right here. Analysts predict Xbox Series S will outsell the PlayStation 5 Pro. <laughs> Let's mind blow. Mind blowing. Uh, man, you have to be a rocket scientist. You have to be a brain surgeon. Uh, you name it. Whatever creates schooling of eight plus years, if not more. Um, the experience. I mean, how deep is this? I mean, wow. Good job, Colt. Good job for, for providing such factual information here. Um, I don't know what length you had to get to in order to devolve down into the level of just really grinding it out and getting down to the business of the matter here because that's what you did here is make absolutely bull crap excuses for whatever. Now, um, <laughs> this is so, so broad across the board. What I'm trying to say here, folks, without being satirical here, without being you know snarky, right? If you didn't catch on, that's what I was doing here. Um, on top of that here, no shit, Sherlock, is the phrase as stated many, many years ago. Um, that's like saying the Toyota Corolla is still going to outsell the Lamborghini. It's still gonna sell, outsell the Tesla trucks. It's still gonna, you name it, whatever brand of anything you wanna do, obviously the cheaper piece of hardware that's still available that has also been out for more years than something that is not even out or going to be out as long as the Series S in this particular instance, right? Was this a win? Is this a dig? Is this a, like a, a some sort of a anomaly of, of what we're able to discover here? Is that Did the smallest light bulb crack and break in his head? I don't know where he was leaning with this, but this... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's crazy. He continues on here, folks. He continues on. Uh, as, as you can see here, I, I lamented over everything here. But isn't the Series S outselling the Xbox Series S X as well? Like by a far margin? So I'm not the only one that's like, wait a minute. This is pretty obvious, right? So Pickle also states, that seems obvious, does it? The cheapest console for casual gamers versus the most expensive one for the niche crowd or the hardcore crowd, whatever you want to call the crowd. Yes, right? It doesn't take a genius to figure this out. And then Helldiver here, the analysis, the analyst, I would say, Xbox ambassadors Cold Eastwood and Jez. They share the same peanut right here, essentially, is what's going on. Uh, <laughs> you gotta love it. And then he continues on. He continues on another post here. X slightly outsells the S the last time I saw a report. Because we can believe you, Cole, because you haven't been off when you've said multiple times, and this has been covered in other videos, that you came out and stayed. You heard it here, Fonz. The Xbox Series X is slightly outpacing the PlayStation 5, which was ball crap and full of bollocks, and you name it. And then, of course, Gerald here, I love it. Same report that Xbox is selling more than the PS5. You gotta love it, because people hold people accountable eventually. They see the receipts. I'm sure he got blocked right away. I think there was no uh, escaping that one, if you will. But, uh, yeah, man, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. I mean, what can we say here? People know the bull crap you spew, and eventually, eventually it's gonna catch up to you. The sheep will still follow, they don't care. I know the people that lie all the time, boomstick, cult, you name it. People are sitting there like, yeah, I know they lie, they're bad, da 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 da. Oh, by the way, happy birthday to you, hope everything's doing. Why are we not holding people accountable if we're lying, if they're lying? I don't understand the misinformation, but again, that's why I'm here at least to bring it to the forefront because maybe not anybody knows. And those that still know and still like to follow and still like to feed this, I mean, you do it to yourselves. You hurt the brand, you harm the brand, you hurt the ecosystem. Do you not understand? It's, it's far above that. You should be looking out for yourself as a gamer. And if you like that ecosystem, hold folks accountable. The truth is always going to do better for a brand or anything in that matter, or anything for that matter, in the long run. Do not hold on to lies, do not hold on to misinformation, that shows baseless insecurities, and so on and so forth. It does more harm than good. Take a step back and hold them accountable. If they switch their tune, they start telling the truth, and they're just being honest, it's going to help everything in the long run. Just some words of advice, folks, if that happens to be you out there. Now, let's wrap this up here. I thought this was an interesting piece of information. I think we're gonna see a lot of derivative salt coming from this as the months are coming on, especially once the PS4 or PS5 Pro is out rather, and we're gonna see some differences here. So as you can see here, Rod Ferguson, I've been getting this question quite a bit recently and I'm happy to say that Diablo 4 and Vessel of Hatred will indeed be PS5 Pro enhanced. Very proud of our hardworking team to make this happen. More details at a later date because someone came up and asked him. He's one of the developers, right? The devs on there, I believe. And let me know if I'm incorrect down in the comments below if he's like some sort of like just communications expert or analyst or whatever. But I believe he is one of the devs. But of course, as you can see, hey, any idea if Diablo 4 will be getting a PS5 Pro update, right? So he responded in that. Now this is the first tip of the iceberg once again. Now we're gonna start to see any Xbox owned IP, whether it be Call of Duty, whether it be Diablo, whether it be Indiana Jones, anything under that banner, anything that they're creating first party once, and if it does hit the PlayStation platforms and you have a PlayStation 5 Pro, right? You're going to see some advantages there. So not only is your console now that the most powerful console out there, your competition is also getting those games and they're looking and running better. That's going to create a lot of salt. Again, we're going to get right back to that Mount Rushmore salt right there. Things are going to be overflowing because they're going to sit there like, why are we being treated like crap? Why this? Why that? Well, we've been over it. We talked about it before many times. Game Pass, this, that, and the other. Buy your games. Not going to be the dead horse in this video right now, but you get the drift, right? You get it. 
So that being said, just wanted to share that all with you. I appreciate it. Um, of course, as always, the support. Definitely leave a like, comment down below. Would love to hear from you. Both those things also help out the algorithm. If you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing, helping out a small content creator like myself. We are getting so close to that 2,500 subscriber goal. Thank you all so much. Going at a great pace. I appreciate that support. I cannot say that enough. I know I say that all the time towards the end, but I don't say it to say it. I truly mean it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, that being said, just remember, don't be a salty batch. And we'll see y'all next time on the next X-Wall Gaming video. And until then, take care.